let me have to talk again microbial anatomy and the physiology as our in previous classes we have studied the cell structure we have studied all the components and organelles which are present in bacterial cell it is composition it is function we have studied in detail as we have studied the outermost structure of bacterial cell that was capsule flagella pili uh, cell walls it is a structure and function cell membrane it is a structure and function cytoplasmic content nuclei are dna ribosomes are plasmids and uh, granules endospores we have studied all bacterial structure it is organelles it is a structure and function so we have to talk today the second chapter of this uh, course content bacterial cell division how bacterial cell divides from one to two we have to study all mechanism in detail and depth bacterial cell division so in bacterial cell division we will discuss in detail cell growth and binary fission fts proteins and cell division mrb and determination of cell morphology peptidoglycan synthesis and cell division we will talk this thing in detail cell growth and binary fission binary fission cell division following enlargement of cell to twice into minimum size binary fission is a process in which cell divides first cell will be enlarged and it will be to it is maximum position and it will be divided into two minimum cell size generation time time required for microbial cells to double in number is called generation time the time required for microbial cells to double in number suppose one cell will be into two it is called generation time during cell division each daughter cell receives a chromosome and sufficient copies of all other cell constituents to exist as an independent cell so during cell division what happens each daughter cell receives equal number of chromosomes and sufficient copies of all other cell organelles to exist as an independent cell constituents to exist as an independent cell so what happens during binary fission during binary fission cell divides into two and each daughter cell receives equal number of organelles to survive as individually so here we can see it is one cell cell will be elongate cell elongation will take place it is size will increase and the symptom formation will take place completion of septum formation of wall cell separation when the cell separation septum formation will be complete each daughter cell will be divided into two so this is called one generation and that the time is required from one cell formation into two cells it is called the generation time and the process is this one cell will start it is elongation it is size will increase and the septum will form and the septum after completion of the septum it will be divided into two and called these two total cells so fts proteins and cell division fts filamentous temperature sensitive protein filamentous temperature sensitive protein these are the essential for cell division in all prokaryotes so cell division responsibility of cell division is on fts protein 
FGS proteins are responsible for the cell division in prokaryotes. Uh, FTS filamentous temperature sensitive proteins are essential for cell division. Intended to form the divosome cell division operators. So FTS proteins intended to form the divosome cell division operators. So these FTS proteins are combination of the FTS G protein form a ring around the center of the cell related to the tubulin. Zip A protein, it is also part of the FTS protein anchor that connect FTS G ring to the cytoplasmic membrane. FTS Zip A protein, the anchor means the bind, anchor means binders that connect this FTS G ring to the cytoplasmic membrane. FTSA helps to connect FTS leading to membrane and also recruits other divosome proteins related to it. So these are the proteins FTSG, FTSA and FTS. G, FTS zip a and ftsa these are proteins which are responsible in cell division in taking part in cell division for elongation septum formation building a uh, division of cell wall these all functions are carried out the, through these three proteins fts protein fts proteins and cell division dna replicates before the FTS ring forms. First DNA will be divided into two and then FTS J ring uh, will be formed. Location of FTS J ring is facilitated by mean protein and another proteins are responsible for the uh, locating this divosome. Mean C, mean D and mean E. These three mean proteins are responsible are also helping in cell division. FTSK, another protein, mediates the separation of chromosome to daughter cells. So this all mechanism is responsible in cell division. FTS proteins are responsible in cell division, formation of two cells from one cell. This mechanism will be clear a little bit more over here. If you will see over here, this is bacterial cell, cytoplasmic membrane, and this is whole bacterial cell, if you will see here. Now this cell is going to be elongated. This cell will be in, increased, uh, it will be enlarged, it will be bigger. Okay, what will happen? This is, this is the place where cell division is going to be start. If you will open and enlarge this, this is FTSG protein. This one is FTSG protein or FTSG ring, which binds in center of the molecule, in center of the bacterial cell. Okay. It needs energy, which is present in GTP, and converts into GDP and produce inorganic phosphor. Now what happens? Zip A. This is another protein which facilitates to bind uh, uh, FTS steering to cytoplasmic membrane. Okay. This one is peptidoglycan, outer membrane, cytoplasmic membrane and this is called duosome complex. This all is called a duosome complex. And this all process takes place in cytoplasmic membrane. While FTS steering has been formed, it has been binded to cytoplasmic membrane through zip A protein, and it has been facilitated further FTSA, FTSI, and FTSK protein 
these all proteins are present in cytoplasm in cell membrane of bacterial cell. So, MRB, MRE, B and B protein and determinants of the cell morphology. Prokaryotes contain a cell cytoskeleton that is dynamic and multifaceted. Multifaceted. MREB major shape determining factor in prokaryotic cell. MREB, this is the protein which is responsible for the determination of the bacterial cell. Either it will be cocci, either it will be bacilli. Forms a simple cytoskeleton in bacteria and probably archaea. MREB proteins form the skeleton cell wall. And from spiral shaped bands around the inside of the cell. And this MREB protein is present inside of the bacterial cell in a spiral form. Form the spiral shaped band around the inside of the cell, underneath the cytoplasmic membrane as well we will mention in these two figures, not found in cocci shaped bacteria. So another thing is MREB protein, which is responsible to determine the bacterial cell morphology, bacterial cell form. MREB and determinants of the cell morphology, MREB proteins are responsible these MREB proteins localize synthesis of new peptidoglycan and other cell wall components to specific location along the cylinder of the rod shaped cell under during growth. So MREB proteins synthesize the new peptidoglycan. Synthesis of new pe peptidoglycan and other cell wall components to specific location along the cylinder of a rod shaped cell during growth. So if you will see, this is FTS Z ring, which has been binded in center of the bacterial cell. And this is bacterial cell wall, this is cytoplasm membrane. And this is MREB protein, which is present in form of coil inside of the bacterial cell so it is whole body just it is present here we must be clear that this mreb protein which is responsible to uh, cell morphology it is present inside of the bacterial cell in a ring form. in a ring form. okay where, where it is binded to it is cytoplasm membrane site of the cell wall synthesis. So in these sites, where from where MREB protein is attached to cytoplasm membrane, it forms bacterial cell wall over here. So how it forms, if you will see, this is electron micrograph of this bacterial cell has been elongated septum has been formed and gradually it has been divided into two. MREB and determinants of the cell morphology, most archaeal genome contains FTSG and MREB. Like proteins, the cell morphology is similar to that seen in bacteria. Peptidoglycan synthesis and cell division Production of new cell wall material is a major feature of the cell division. Okay, first one is production of the new cell wall material is a major feature of the cell division. In cocci, cell wall grow in opposite direction outward from the FTS ring. In cocci, FTS ring will bind in center of the bacterial cell and the cell wall growth will be start outward from the FTS series. In broad shaped cells, growth occurs at several points 
along the length of the cell. In, in broad shaped cells, growth occurs at several points along length of the cell wall. So we must be clear that FTSC, uh, sorry, MREB protein, which is present in ring form in all cylinders, it, it synthesizes bacterial cell wall at different points. But in cocci, it is from only one side. Peptidoglycan synthesis and cell division. Pre-existing peptidoglycan needs to be served to allow newly synthesized peptidoglycan to form beginning at the FTS series. A small opening in the wall are created by autolysis. So what happened? Because existing cell wall is there. So first it has to be break to produce site for the binding of the new cell wall synthesizing molecule. So what happened? Pre-existing peptidoglycan needs to be served to allow newly synthesized peptidoglycan to form. Beginning at the FTS ring, a small opening in the wall are created by, by autolysis. New cell wall material is added across the opening. The wire where MREB protein will open uh, places in cell wall and the new molecules of the cell wall will be attached on those opening sites. New cell wall material is attached across the opening wall bone, wall band. Junctions between new and old peptidoglycans are formed and it is assembled. Here we can see it is in cocci, it is FTS zeroing. So this is not FTS zeroing. So this is FTS zero. So in cocci, it uh, the synthesis of this cell wall uh, starts outward from the uh, FTS zero from this side and from this side. It will start from here. It will grow gradually from this for this side and it will grow towards this side. When it will be complete, it will be break into two. Septa will be complete and it will be divided into two. Similarly, if you are looking over here, FTS ring has been bind in center of this and MREB protein is also present, which is a uh, structure determining protein. So where were M, uh, so at many sites, MREB protein will synthesize the cell wall and gradually it will increase its size. Peptidoglycan synthesis and cell wall division Bactoprenols carries molecules that plays major role in insertion of peptidoglycan precursor.
So bacteriol carrier molecule that plays major role in insertion of the peptide of glycan precursor. This is bacteriol C55, kind of carbon containing a alcohol with alcohol molecule, a compound, bonds to n acetyl glucose amine and n acetyl neuronic acid, pentapeptide, peptide of glycan precursor. Peptidoglycan synthesis and cell division, glycolase enzyme that interacts with bactoprinol inserts cell wall precursors into growing points of the cell wall, catalyze glycoside bond formation. So this is the main structure of the cell wall formation. Suppose this is bacterial peptidoglycan. Okay. This is one layer of the uh, N-style glucose amine and N-style neuronic acid. And okay, this one is layer. So what happened? Growing point of the cell wall. Here. This side, suppose, autolysin will break this point. Autolysin activity will break this point. Okay. What will be? New molecule from of the cell wall will be carried out by this bactoprinol. It will be carried out from cytoplasm with this pentapeptide, with this pentapeptide, N-acetyl neuronic acid and N-acetyl glucose amine molecule will be carried out through this Bactoprenols and it will bring up to here and it will light it. It will bind. It will fix our here. Gradually, what will be? This will bind. This G will bind with M. This G will bind with M. And this peptide will, molecule will link to this and new cell wall will form. Okay, this is the synthesis of the cell wall. MREB protein where it binds, it will break this, it will produce site for the insertion of the new molecules of cytoplasmic content. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, new molecules of the cell wall and new molecules of the cell wall will be carried out from cytoplasmic region by this bacteprenol. Bacteprenol will carry uh, cell wall content is from uh, N-acetyl neuronic acid and, and N-acetyl glucose amine M and the G molecules from cytoplasm. It will carry it throughout cell membrane and wire generate wire. <coughs> space has been created by lysine, autolysine activity. These molecules will be fitted over there and it is new molecule will be and it will bind with all the molecules at this growing site and new molecule and the cell wall will be increased it will be bigger and bigger so peptidoglycan synthesis and cell wall division transpeptidation final step in the cell wall synthesis from the peptides cross link between Muramic acid residues in adjacent glycan chain inhibited by the antibiotic penicillin and sometimes it is inhibited by the antibiotic. So up to this we have to stop because it is a little bit difficult and I hope uh, we will repeat it once again then we will be able to understand this thing. Thank you. Have a nice time. Cheers.